Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for coming to our channel. We uh, appreciate you being here. Standing Seam Channel offers Standing Seam the exposure it deserves through education and community. If that is something you're into, keep watching and remember, hit that subscribe button. Um, so today's live, uh, welcome everyone who's here. Uh, All Pro Roofing, good to see you. Metal Roofing, Ezekiel, good to see you. Brandon Nahani, good to see you. Uh, Angel Banger, nice name. Okay, so uh, the, today's today's live at lunch, I wanted to uh, focus on uh, a, a couple different things. It's, uh, again, I apologize for being late, but we are, we made a commitment to you guys, so we're here and we're going live. So thanks for uh, joining in and all the support. Um, I just gotta say that the Standing Seam channel, uh, its main purpose is to give Standing Seam the exposure it deserves through education and community. This is part of that community. We also have a YouTube channel which extends our community, extends our reach. Uh, we recently just posted one of our most uh, successful videos. One of our offices in the chat as well. So if there's any, um, if there are any uh, questions you may have, uh, drop them in the comments. We will record them. If I don't get to them, we'll maybe do a video on it later, or uh, we'll, we'll answer them in the next live. So. Uh, what I wanted to touch on today, that we, so we just posted that video. It seemed to get a great response uh, on YouTube and um, industry. And I really, of, uh, you know, water resistance. I really think it's because uh, of the details themselves. Because it is the proper so way to do things. We didn't get a lot of uh, questioning. It was a lot of thumbs up, great video. So, but I know, it, you know, being in the trade for as long as I have, that those details, as complicated or as time consuming as they may seem, um, are the best details uh, for the standing. That specific detail in that video on our channel it's the most recent uh, video upload um, that detail itself doesn't require uh, notching so it doesn't require it to be sealed in any way it's a folded detail hey Amy hello my, my pretty wife um, so the uh, so yeah the details are are folded details they're folding techniques so in order to you know put a bend in metal typically what we think about is um, you know we have to notch it and then fold it Hey, Blakely Haber, good to see you again. ICR Roofing. Uh, post where you're, where you post where you're watching from. Um, I uh, like to hear how far, uh, how far we're reaching here, and uh, post any questions you may have. I can do a, a little Q and A at the end if you want. But so, getting back to what I was talking about, the, the, the detail that I posted on YouTube um, is a foldable detail, and, um, and and it's not really my opinion. It is um, the, they, they are the most effective details when it comes to standing seam metal roofing. So, uh, there is a problem with that, and. Uh, the, there's a the reason that they're not typically used, especially in North America, is uh, in my now this is my opinion, but I don't think I'm far off. Is that they are uh, potentially uh, time consuming, or let's put it this way, I think that there is a fear, possibly, that um, the details themselves are time consuming and they wouldn't you know generate profit for the company. Um, okay, so if there's an easier, faster way, it is a little bit you know it it, um, it sacrifices a little bit of quality, but it passes, it doesn't leak. Uh, okay, so that's and it's faster, um, i.e., notch and bend and cock it. Uh, so now we're relying on cocking, and we're not allowing the metal to do its job, so on and so forth. I think I think people have a hard time uh, adopting these details because of that reason, uh, mainly because they think it's going to take uh, too long to install, or um, or it's going to take uh, you know a lot more training, or so on and so forth. The I think. I think we need to get away from the stigma of that. I think we need to get away from um, easier, softer way. Um, we have to focus on the, the quality and um, the training as well. Um, so this that that to me is what standing seam is, and we are we are a highly skilled trade. So the details that we do should require uh, a higher level of skill. Um, the end result should be of higher quality because we are highly trained individuals and tradespeople. And uh, Richard, what's going on? Good to see and you. Good to see you on the live. That, um, way of so thinking. there are, a few, I guess, there are quite a few my, contractors out there. My main, the main goal of this channel and what my you know passion is is to get the word out there, especially in North America, where it is acceptable. Or should I say, in North America, where less is acceptable. So less quality, easier, softer way is acceptable. Are uh, upping their upping their detailing game. You know. Um, just kind of like a side note though um the uh, you know I'm, I'm guilty of it too right i'm i'm no i'm no saint you know i've taken the easier softer way um you know cut it cock it bend it kick it i've never kicked it but i've hammered shit <laughs> i've wailed on some stuff but uh, uh the uh the, the cutting and cocking it um so I, like i said i'm guilty of that and you know what i paid the price you know, especially in business you see the end result of poor workmanship 
and you see the damage it causes and the sleepless nights and um, you know just your general reputation as a business or as a, as a tradesman or contractor you know um, your work follows you around it's inevitable you can't stop it you know what you did you know last week was it the best possible way to do it was there you know these are the questions you might want to start asking yourself was it the best uh, possible detail I could have used um, could I have done it better you know let's uh, let's start asking these questions to ourselves and uh, we may become better tradesmen as a result so uh, that um, that video is the first of many detailed tutorials that I plan on making uh, details that originate around what we call double fold detailing foldable details waterproof detailing and systems and so on there will be more and um, um, you know I'm gonna try and stick to some of the more popular transitional details you know roof to wall abutment which is the one I just posted and you know transition from you know different roof pitch transition um, so I, uh, I thank you guys for hopping on live and uh, I mean if you guys have any questions put them in the comments oh, no.